Alright, welcome back. So, you want to figure out the equation of a line. Well, you've come to the right place because, as you can see, that is exactly what we're going to do. We have a three-step process to get the equation of a line. First, we get the slope, right? And the slope is called m. You might say, well, why is the slope called m? That's a strange letter to pick. And I would say that that is a very good question. I honestly have no idea why they picked m, and it's probably one of the worst decisions that that has ever been made in mathematics. The y-intercept is called c, there is a reason for that, um, and then we substitute these things into y equals mx plus c. So we find the slope, find the y-intercept, and put in this equation. Three steps. This one here, um, oh, we've actually already done the first one. Uh, we were given that this line is has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 3, so <laughs> step 1 is already done for us, and step 2 is already done for us. Um, you can think of uh, this thing here, the 2 is m, the slope, and this thing 3 is c, the y-intercept. So y equals mx plus c, m is 2, c is 3, replace the m with 2, and replace the c with 3. That's what substitute means. A substitute means to replace. Okay, so we've done that one. We've got the equation for that line. If it's a bit hard in your head to visualise what this one looks like, because we don't have a picture for this one like we do for this one, well, we can graph it y equals 2x plus 3, I can put in here y equals 2, oh, 2x plus 3, looks like this. You can see the slope really is 2, you know, for every one unit across I go 2 up, so the slope is 2, and it really does intersect the y-axis at 3. Brilliant. Uh, so it really is this line, has that equation. Next one is a bit trickier, it's got fractions. We have a slope of negative half, <laughs> that's tricky, and a y-intercept of negative 5. I've intentionally made this one a bit tricky, just to show you that you can still do it. This is the m, and this is the c. So we write y equals mx plus c. We're going to replace m with this thing, and c with negative 5. So we get something looking like this. Um, I've literally just replaced the m with negative half. I've still got the plus here, and the c is negative 5. So I replace c with negative 5. Now, <coughs> some cluey viewers might notice that I've got a plus and a minus next to each other. If I have a plus and a minus next to each other, what can I do? Well, I can just replace them with a minus sign. Positive and negative make a negative when they're next to each other. Um, and I can also do a trick with this. Negative half x. Well, a half of x is the same as x divided by 2. You know, just like a half of 6 is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Um, so I can write this a bit more simply as negative x on 2 minus 5. Good. Now we have a, a picture, or sorry, a, a diagram, a graph, I suppose, that we want to find the slope of, and the y-intercept of, and the equation of. So first, let's find the slope. To find the slope, we need to pick two points in the line. We can pick any two points, but I'm going to pick this one and that one, just because they're on the grid lines, so it makes it a bit easier. I mean, if you pick this point, then it's going to be like one point something, two. Um, so let's just pick the ones that are on the grid marks. Makes life easier for you, me, everyone, everybody. Okay, to find the slope, we need the rise and the run. Yeah, slope is rise divided by run. Rise is how far up or down it goes. And it goes up one, two, three, four units. And run is how far across. It runs one, two. There you go, run equals 2. So the run is 2, the rise is 4, so I can replace rise with 4 and run with 2. It's going to be 4 over 2. And do you know what 4 divided by 2 is? It's 2! 4 divided by 2 is 2. Sometimes you can simplify this fraction, sometimes you can't. Today is our lucky day. Um, now, okay, so we've done the slope. Beautiful. Let's give that a tick. Find y-intercept called c. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, right? I'm going to put some colour in, because I can, and because I feel like it. Uh, I'm feeling a green mood today. There you go, so this is the y-axis. The, y the y-intercept is where it crosses that, and it crosses right here, at negative 1. So the y-intercept is negative 1. That is called c. Yeah. You don't have to write that it's called c, I wrote that it's y-int, because I was too lazy <laughs> to write y-intercept. 
Um, so that's our C, and our slope or gradient, they're the same thing, is M. Okay, now we substitute into Y equals MX plus C. Y equals MX plus C, well the M is the slope, which is 2, and the C is a negative 1. So it's 2X take 1. It's a good idea to check your answers. But Mr. Neri, how am I going to check the answer? Do I have to draw up a set of... No, you don't have to draw up a set of axes. You can go into Desmos. This thing is y equals 2x take 1. So let's write y equals 2x take 1. It looks like this. Um, to make it easier to see, I'm going to turn off these little minor grid lines, these faint ones. So there you go, it looks like that. It crosses at negative 1. And sure enough, that is exactly what I was expecting. Brilliant. Um, so we've got to write. Whoa! What has happened here? 